Hi, I'm Mark, the electronic engineer. Welcome to my channel. You're about to become part of my journey in building my own CO2 laser cutter. Um, I'm not building a small laser cutter, but actually a middle size 600 times 400 millimeter working area, and it uses a 35 watt CO2 laser. Working with lasers can be dangerous, and you do so at your own risk. Remember, just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Always wear laser safety glasses. Um, this video is actually the first out of a few in which I will explain um, where I got the plans, uh, how I build it, any hiccups, improvements I find along the way, where I got my parts, etc. The, uh, the build actually was designed by uh, Rob Chesney from Further Fabrications. Um, if you want to build your own laser, you can buy the plans for building it at his, way, at, uh, his website. I will put a link down below. Um, Although it might be obvious to most, let me clarify, building a laser cutter is not for beginners. It requires some skills in electronic, mechanics and common sense. If you lack any of those, then building a laser is not for you. Then you should go out and consider buying a ready-to-go plug-and-play uh, laser cutter. I will share some more information about that later. Um, most important thing to remember if you decide to build your own laser cutter is to use common sense. Safety is a big issue. A laser is not a toy. It can um, explode your eye, give you severe burns, um, it can even burn down your house. You can imagine none of the above is on your uh, bucket list, so work safely. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on future episodes. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Enjoy watching the build. Okay, I guess um, a very important question is why do I want a laser cutter? And the answer is, well, not so easy for me actually. Why do I want it? Hmm, I don't know. I guess that's just one of those things that once you have it, I'm sure you'll have a purpose for it. Hmm. Honestly, the idea of owning a laser cutter um, will not make my, my heart go faster. I mean, I have one in the office that I can use, so I know what it's capable of. So owning one, you know, wouldn't really change it. But it's actually the idea of building my own that makes my heart go faster. As an engineer, I love to build things. And, you know, it's always a question, can I build it? Can I build it? You know, can I make it work? Can it be done? Can I do it? That's actually what, uh, what makes my heart go faster. That's why I love engineering. So all I need now is a reason to build one. Hmm. What would I possibly do with a laser cutter once I have it? Hmm. Sure, I can find something my wife likes. You know what they say? Happy wife, happy life. So, honey, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. If I'm going to build this and I find some way of putting it to good use for my wife, like uh, having her make jewelry or um, some other nice stuff, then I'm halfway home. So, what can we possibly find that she can do on a laser and legs? Hmm. Honey, remember the other night at the party? You complained we didn't have enough coasters. How about uh, I make some? Can you? Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, but can you make ten? Sure, but it'll take me a while longer. No problem. Well, first uh, I need to decide whether I'm going to build it or actually just buy it. Um, building, you know, is also not free, it costs money, uh, a lot of uncertainties, will I get it to work, how will I be pleased with the results, etc. Or, you know, I could eliminate all those risks and just buy a laser. Well, on the internet, um, I guess many of you already know the K40 laser. 
It's actually made in China and it doesn't really have a brand. Uh, Vavor, um, but also without brand. This is actually the K40 and they're affordable. They're, no, this one is on Amazon about 400 euros. Um, bear in mind that if you order this, um, from what I hear, it will still need a lot of work to get it to work actually. You need to realign it um, to get it to work, etc. It's high maintenance, but as from what I hear, uh, I never owned one. Also bear in mind that if you order this at eBay um, or Amazon or whatever, mostly those are imported from China, which means there's a reasonable chance that it gets flagged at customs and you have to pay some extra uh, tax, uh, import tax, etc. when you order it, so the price will go up. But looking at this price uh, of 400 euro and what you get is a very small working area there's some good some good alternatives actually on ebay um, there are several lasers uh, depending on your budget say your budget is 2000 max then there are some real good lasers or at least again i have to say looking good because i never owned them um, an 80 watt laser here and what I actually type in the in the search box is uh, laser engraver or laser cutter EU stock, which means it's already in Europe, and whenever they ship it from whatever country in Europe, I don't need to pay extra tax because as long as it's part of the EU, then um, there will be no import tax. So the price what I see is actually what I'm going to pay. Um, one thing to bear in mind when you buy at eBay or AliExpress and those kind of stores they often offer shipping from port to port you have to read the small prints and it might say that uh, shipping is included uh, it will ship to your port and you need to pick it up at the warehouse which means someone has to take care of the paperwork and then you know, need to go um, arrange transport and go pick it up yourself or have it picked up which will not be cheap and that will be extra so if it's part of the EU is already in Europe then all you pay is transport fee which is often reasonable um, if you don't like any of that there is also a company called um, Lasergraph I think it's called yeah Lasergraph in the Netherlands they offer uh, a machine I think when I look at it it's also made in China but I can be wrong um, but they do offer support and they have their own service team and even if you buy a laser you'll get a free uh, training on how to use it um, the costs are about 4,000 euro for the, the starting model that's excluding tax so uh, there will be in Holland that's 20% tax 21% uh, increase in the price but at least you'll get a machine that's uh, already in Holland, in Europe, there is a support team and that means if it breaks down, they can help you, which is good and then I would say it's a fair price. Um, of course you could always go with the, the high-end size, um, at work I have the availability of a Trotec laser, it's not mine of course, I'm just occasionally allowed to use it, um, but those are high-end and well, they also go on a high-end budget. I don't even know the price, but um, I think it starts at 8,000 or so. Um, for most hobby uh, machines, like the one I'm building or want to build, um, this is not an option. So let's just forget about Trotec. Unless you're going to start there or you're already in a company and you can afford it, it's going to be a whole different uh, ballpark. Um, so I showed you this one and this one. K40. Um, be advised if you look on, on eBay the prices are a lot different and often it's the same supplier and they offer the same machine um, for this for different price so and I also know that if you contact them by email um, prices are negotiable and you can often get some extras or you know get a deal on the price 
some have a, a rotary machine in there so you can engrave round objects others have not or you will get it for free etc if you're really serious about buying one then you should contact whoever is selling it to see um, what they can do for you and if you're into uh, building one then you can decide to make your own design I would say that's the um, the advanced feature, uh, the advanced topic, or you can uh, uh, ask somebody already built one and has the plans to rebuild it. And that's actually something that um, a guy from Further Fabrication did. His name is um, Rob, and uh, Rob did uh, a machine. It's called the Y1200, and it's actually a CO2 laser cutter which is uh, quite big. It has a working area of uh, 1250 times 620 millimeters. They also have one available that's half the size. It's called the Y400. Uh, you can buy the plans, the, even the, uh, the drawing and the part list for a few bucks. Um, by supporting him, uh, you order it and you can build it. That's actually what I did, so I cannot share the plans. If you want it, uh, you go to his site and, and, and buy it. I will put the link down below. Um, and actually, like I said, I decided to go build the 400. I'm, you know, ready to take the plunge. Um, I'm an engineer, I love to build, so yeah, let's build it instead of buying it. Why would you buy it if you can build it? Or was that reverse? I think. At work we always say, if it exists, let's buy it. If it doesn't exist, let, you know, let's invent it. But in this case, who cares? I will just build it. So I ordered um, his uh, building guide and I ordered his part list. For the, and his cat model, it's about $15, all, all three of them. And I actually already started uh, looking into the part list, and I will show you about the part list in a second. It's opening in the part list, yeah. I will put that on screen now. Actually, don't mind the colors, the yellow is what I already ordered. So that's for my own notes. Um, actually, Rob estimated the whole build for this 400 model about 2,000 euro. Um, I think I will. Uh, it will cost me uh, a lot less, but it uh, depends on how you purchase your parts. And uh, actually, the all the the, uh, the framework, the um, um, aluminum rails. Uh, the V slot, the T slot. I got I got a very cheap supplier in uh, in Holland who um, was able to provide all the slots except the V slot. Those are all the T slots for um, about 120 euro, which is a lot cheaper than companies, for example, who sell item. It's it's actually a brand, I think. But uh, these slots I bought will do. And uh, saves a lot of money, so only on these slots already I saved uh, $180 and it will go on and on. Um, Rob also mentions that all of the, um, the, the bolts and screws and uh, T nuts, the little things, is actually quite a lot. Um, you can buy them separately or you can buy them as a kit. That is actually what I did. I really did buy the kit in China and I expect to have to pay some import tax, but I'm sure in the end it will still save me. I'll let you know how that goes when I get it. And the same goes with a lot of the electronics. Uh, I ordered everything in yellow here. Everything in yellow here I ordered. And actually most I ordered at AliExpress, but I made sure that when I order it, that the price of the, the total price of the package, including shipping, was always around 20 uh, euro and not above, uh, all to hopefully avoid import tax. Because if it's uh, above 23 euro, I think around that amount, 
that on Halloween we have to pay extra tax and you know nobody likes paying tax anyway right now I'm waiting for the parts so I can start and as soon as I have all the parts together I will start building but that's a uh, you know that's for another video for now um, and may I suggest you decide whether you're going to build one or you're going to buy one. If you're going to build one, then look at Rob's uh, website, his YouTube channel, where are all the instruction videos. Um, look at the Facebook page. There is a big user group, user support group. I will put a link down below. Uh, or if you're going to, uh, to buy a ready plug and play machine, um, start browsing the internet compare contrast prices options and I'm sure there's something you can find make sure you don't miss out on my next video about uh, building the actual laser cutter I will start building the frame um, please subscribe so you won't miss out and don't forget to click like thumbs up for this video see you next time